Hello ghouls and masters, welcome back to Planet Him. So today you guys, we're going to be talking about some of the new Monster High news that we have, a few leaks and things like that. Yeah, we're going to get into it. But before we hop in, I do just want to let you guys know I am a little sick, so if I sound a little a little congested or whatever, that's why. But yeah, we're about to go ahead and hop up into this. Before we hop in though, please make sure you guys like, comment, and subscribe to support my channel. Also make sure you guys go follow my Instagram and TikTok, links are down in the description. Now let's get into this video. I'm the manager. Who the fuck are you? So yesterday there was this picture floating around and I guess everyone was saying Monster High had posted this picture on their account. And I don't know, it was floating around, everybody was talking about it. A lot of people were saying it was fake. You know, we really didn't know at first. And um, a lot of people were trying to figure out who it was. A lot of people were guessing it was Midnight Honkator Cleo or maybe a new Nefera doll. And only reason that I feel like people were probably thinking that is because we've already seen Honkator Cleo, the new Mid Midnight Runway Cleo. So it was kind of, it would be kind of interesting for them to post something like this considering we've already seen the doll, you know? Then when you look at the two screenshots, there's two different times. One of them says a certain amount of seconds. One one says 35 minutes with 21 likes. Like, it's just not adding up. And the description says the sarcophagus is ready to scare you into freakish lurks. Who could be screaming inside? And I don't know. I don't know. It was just... I don't know, because I usually get notifications when Monster High posts, so I was a little confused myself. I was like, wait, when did <laughs> when did this happen? You know, especially because one of them said 35 minutes, and I was like, girl, I, didn't, I had no idea, literally no idea. But I heard from someone that it was fake. So whoever be making these fake leaks, girl, y'all be having the community talking, we can't lie, but it do be kind of annoying, because, like, girl, you get real excited, and they be like, oh, it's fake. And you be like, well, well shit, damn. So over on Entertainment Earth, I guess we had two listings go up. It says this creeptastic drop will make you scream. It doesn't actually say Monster High, but, you know, who else is going to have a description like that? You know what I'm saying? It's, it's definitely Monster High, you know? But it says one drop will be May 4th at 9 a.m. And the other one will, will be June 21st, 9 a.m. So I wonder what these are going to be. Truly? Because I know... Rochelle is going to be dropping, I'm guessing sometime soon, just because it's spring, and I know that's when she was supposed to be coming out around spring, so maybe one of these could definitely, one of these could definitely be Rochelle, and also if you guys join the fan club, which we're going to talk about in a second, um, you'll know that we're going to be getting a Collector Gulia soon at some point, and I don't know if that's what that is, I, I have no idea, um, but yeah, I don't know if Entertainment Earth ever post about collectors before they come out i don't know if it's Inter entertainment earth there's another website that usually does that but i know we're supposed to get the tiffany collector doll with chucky or whatever i know we're supposed to be getting that sometime soon so one of those could definitely be that i, I have no idea but i guess we're just gonna have to wait around and see either way i'm excited for these new drops i'm really really excited for rochelle because she looks so detailed and she honestly honestly eats for sure and i cannot wait to see what they're gonna do with my girl gulia because we haven't had a gulia doll in a long time i think the last time we had a g1 gulia doll was with that collector two pack with cleo and gulia and i'm so mad i never got that like i'm honestly so mad i never got that because i love that little set but with us getting a new gulia First off, I wonder if it's going to be like a Hunk Couture kind of vibe because, okay, let's just go ahead and hop over. Okay, you guys, so here we are on the Mattel Creations website. Right here at the, at the top, it says Monster High Fan Club. So basically, this membership is $9.99 a year, which I feel like isn't too bad, you know, but I know a lot of people have been complaining, saying like they don't want to have to spend money on this and then have to still go spend full price on some dolls and things like that. And I understand that, but I guess for me, just because the fact that, you know, they're going to be giving, giving you exclusive items as a member that you can't get anywhere else. I mean, like, for me, at least, I think it's worth it. Because for me, I'm going to probably want that, you know, exclusive doll. You know, I'm going to want to try and hop in on that. You know? I don't necessarily see this as a bad thing. Now, is it another way for them to make more money? I mean, of course, yeah. I mean, they're a company. You know what I'm saying? They got to make their coins. You know, I'm not too mad about it. I mean, Barbie that does the same thing. 
you know, I think, um, I think Hot Wheels has something like this. Like there's different, there's different companies, you know, to do stuff like this, you know, but basically it says to die for details. The fan club is a place to let your inner monster shine. When you join, you'll get benefit. You'll get to enjoy these frightfully fantastic benefits. You basically get exclusive items, priority sale access, so you'd be able to like shop for things before the public even gets them. You get voting privileges. I'm guessing that's what like, oh yeah, with the um, fang vote and polls and things like that. You get confidential content. It says that there's gonna be um, latest members only news, previews and interviews, um, private forums, view and respond to electrifying messages, eerie insider info, member experiences, peek behind the scenes, interact with the designers and share your collections and more. So, y'all, I could not find this on their actual website or whatever. But if you guys go over and follow Cleo's Nile over on Instagram, keeps us up to date with all the Monster High stuff. So, definitely go over there and follow them. But, yeah. So, basically, the post says, a gorgeous start. Our ghoul Lux Ghoulia Yelp's doll will be available to fan club members. So, yeah, you basically have to get the membership to be able to get this doll. And because it says Ghoul Lux, that makes me wonder what this doll is going to look like. Like, Ghoul Lux, I automatically just think Deluxe. I mean, obviously. So, so I'm wondering, is there going to be multiple outfits? Or is this just going to be a hunk of tour type of vibe? I mean, I'm here for either one. Because if they decide to give Ghoul a whole, whole like, hunk of tour kind of moment. But, like, you know, wave one hunk of tour. You know, like, that, more so that kind of vibe. Metallic jewelry, fabric bag, diary, you know. I would love to see that for Gulia, but also like I don't know, I just don't because it says it doesn't say Honka to Gulia, so I mean we really won't know until we see it. Either way, I'm here for a Gulia doll. I haven't had a Gulia in a while, besides G3 Gulia, of course, but I'm very very excited about this doll. But yeah, are you guys gonna be getting this doll? I'm very interested to, interested to see what you guys think about it because I mean I understand where some people are coming from, but. I mean, they're exclusive dolls. The only way you can get them is, you know, getting the membership. And I know I'm I'm, I'm, I'm going to want that Gulia. You know what I'm saying? So I don't know. I want to hear your opinions, though. So a former Mattel employee by the name of Lily Martinez, she goes by Lily Love, died uh, 213 over on TikTok. But she basically came out and talked about her experience working at Mattel. Apparently, she was really working with my scene. She got to do a little bit of Bratz and a little bit of Monster High. Now, I guess she said when they very first asked her to start working on Monster High to do something for Monster High, she wasn't really feeling it. You know what I'm saying? Because she was, she's more so into the cutesy things. Like, she, she did my scene. So, yeah, she's more into that kind of vibe. But they wanted to see what she would come up with, you know. They wanted to see people's, like, different ideas, you know, what they would come up with. And they knew that she liked the more, you know, cutesy type of vibes. So, yeah, that's, they wanted her to, 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 you know, make some designs. And these are the designs that she actually came up with. Now, me personally, this is not no hate or anything. I personally don't know how I feel about these. Um, yeah, especially Claudine. I, I don't know. I don't know. They're just so... They almost look like my scene or a brat's kind of vibe. And those just weren't always, you know, my favorite doll lines, you know. I don't really get into them like that. The designs and stuff are not horrible. It's just not really my vibe. But just from looking at them, they seem to have a pretty similar body mode to what we got. And a pretty similar face mode, to be honest. Um, I feel like the one who looks the best is probably Draculaura. Um... I don't know. Frankie just looks off to me. I don't see Frankie at all. Looking at Claudine, she doesn't really look like Claudine either. Like, the face mode, just a little bit. But I don't know. I don't know. But it's very interesting, though. I do love seeing these. Um, it makes me wonder if these were done before the My Scene prototypes. But yeah, no, I would definitely love to see other designers come out and show whatever designs they had in mind. Um, but she did eventually say that she's the one who completely created Laguna. 
Like, her whole design, she made Laguna. And she also went on to talk about how, like, you know, everyone was bullying the new um, voice actor for the uh, G3 Laguna. Because, you know, basically Laguna's um, Mexican now. She used to be Australian. So, you know, everyone came out, you know, was, you know, bashing her about that. And she was basically like, um, yeah, I kind of want to come out and tell my story because I want people to know that a Mexican immigrant, you know, basically made Laguna, made the OG Laguna. So, I don't know. It was just a beautiful moment to me. I loved hearing her story and how Mattel basically, working for Mattel basically changed her life. It, it was really beautiful. It really, really was. But I want to hear what you guys think about those prototypes. Like, I don't know. I don't know. How do y'all feel about them? But yeah, y'all, I want to hear all you guys' thoughts and opinions down below. I do have more videos coming very, very soon. Expect videos tomorrow. I'm definitely going to do one for Rainbow High because there's some tea we need to talk about there too. So yeah, definitely keep your eyes peeled for that. But yeah, please make sure you guys like, comment, and subscribe to support my channel. Also, make sure you guys don't forget to go follow me on my Instagram and TikTok. Links are in the description, child. Make sure you guys are always being yourself and staying true to who you are because you're yourself that at least. Peace, y'all.